what I mean? Doing what I do, man. Clean up there. Are you staying cool today? You know I am. It's gonna be hot, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, take care, Enjoy buddy. Enjoy your day, man. See ya. All right. Guys, this is literally what my the back of my truck looks like after one day of working. But I'll tell you, it is super hot out. It's just like a extremely dry heat. And uh, it's 4.30 right now and I'm just like sweating, I'm hot. And like my energy's a little low and we're just trying to bust through, man. But I wanted to let you guys know for anybody out there hustling, that, uh, that man, there's just there's a lot of people, and, and sometimes whenever you're working, you're alone or or whatever, and you're thinking that you're the only person out here, and you're like, why am I out here in this heat? But uh, make sure you always stay true to to what your your mission is, what are your goals, and that needs to be the reason that you guys are out here working. And also, it's good to to feel that you're not alone, man. Uh, this is what a hard-working person, a hard-working man does, and uh, you know, it's just a little bit of heat. Drink some water, and and take care of yourself, man, and you're gonna be all right. So, there's not not a better feeling than days like this, and then getting home and just like sitting down, and you're like, man, that was a good days of work. It's it's definitely better than just sitting um, like all day. Like if you're a kid out there working. Trust me, there's no better feeling than sitting sitting on the couch after a hard day's work and you're like, man, it's a, it's a beautiful day, you know? Get a little rest, take care of yourselves. Uh, that's my little pep talk for you today. So, hope you guys are doing great. That's it. <laughs> All right, Nick, could you come back here and repeat? I was about to make this video and he's over here telling me what he wants for his birthday. It was just the meanest thing I've ever heard. Go, just tell me again, please. I said I want a paycheck. Okay, easy. I want the day off. Easy. And I don't want you to talk to me. Well, that's funny, I don't want to talk to you. Do you, do you want me to just block your number for the day? <laughs> Something like that. That is the meanest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> all right, well, all right, I'm just gonna continue on with that. I want to show you guys some problems we're having here at B&B. This is the third tire that's popped. In the last week, there we go. This is on the newer V ride, so I'm gonna have to get that fixed today. I was gonna get it fixed yesterday, so I used the other V ride that I just put a brand new tire on. Then, let me show you what we just picked up. Let me show you what we just picked up. I didn't buy it, it's not mine, I don't own it, I don't get to keep it, but. This is a Gravely Pro Stance. Uh, it's a 52 inch. It, it does actually have some pretty cool features. Um, the first feature I saw that I really liked was the height adjustment. Let me try to focus in here. I don't know why we're not focused. Maybe. All right, who cares? Height adjustment right here. And then with the with the foot pedal, um, so that's pretty cool. But there you go, guys. That's it. 
What's going on guys? Blake Albertson here with B&B Lawn Care. So, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit today. Um, first off, you guys saw the Gravely in this video. No, I do not own it. Um, basically, you guys know the Atlas was kind of the same deal. I still have the Atlas and the Gravely Pro Stance. Um, basically, they're just demo units. Gravely's letting us use them for few months just to test them out, try them out, see what our thoughts are, and record a little bit of footage with them. So, um, pro stance there. My first thoughts, I like the machine. Do I think the cut is as precise as the Skaggs? I do not, but the machine is super comfortable, and it is literally built like a tank. It's just, it, it just looks a lot bigger and tougher than the skag but you cannot beat that that skag cut um, and even the stripe I mean those velocity decks are just solid um, but the gravely man it's a great machine had a little bit of technical difficulties at the very start with that machine um, so basically you have your PTO switch on top on the bottom you have some connecting wires. One of those wires came unconnected and the deck shut off when I was mowing and I couldn't get it back started. Spent a couple nights in my uh, customer's backyard. A dealer came and got it and in about 20 minutes they figured out, they're like, oh, it's ready to go. We got it ready to go. So that was kind of a pain, but got it back up and running, used it today and it's really, it's really a solid, solid machine. Um, so a lot of people ask me questions on Instagram and things like that, you know, do I get to keep it or whatever, but I don't get to keep it. Um, but yep, you get to use it and, and that's pretty much it. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I want to give you guys a quick little tip. Um, I saw an article, I can't find the article, but I looked, I was trying to find it on my phone, but I couldn't find it. But basically it was a lady and she had a nail in her leg from a lawnmower. Lawnmower kicked it up. She went back to her house. She thought it was a rock that just had hit her. Found a nail in her leg. And it was funny because I already had this topic written down on my phone that morning and I found out that evening I saw that thing on Facebook or whatever about the nail. But I, I had, it was a busy, busy sidewalk. Uh, people were running with their dogs and kids People were walking to the pool. People were walking from who knows where. But I had to keep shutting off the mower and stopping and things like that. Guys, protect yourselves. I mean, you have insurance or whatever if you do or don't. But like for me, I have insurance. But shut off the mower, please. Like, okay, you're coming up to a sidewalk. Somebody is 30 feet, 40 feet away from either side, wherever they are. You can fling a rock, get a tennis ball, put it in front of a mower, turn the mower blades on, all the way cranked up, run over that tennis ball, and just doosh, just watch it fly. I mean, that thing will fly. Now, something even harder and more solid like a rock you just wait that thing will fly and it will knock somebody out and it will do some damage to something car window house window shut off the mower don't get lazy okay even me there was a metal, like one of those metal tin signs, like what a speed limit sign's made out of, but it was actually a little bit tougher than that, uh, than a speed limit sign. It was nasty, man, when I ran over it. I was being lazy. I was like, oh, I'll just go around it. Go around it with the mower, it gets sucked into the mower, spits it out, shards, sharp shards of metal nasty just I'm telling you just I mean it could cut somebody bad and uh, 
I was being lazy. I was trying to cut a quick corner. Because it's like, man, I'm not in a... I was just out in a field, pretty much. It's like, who cares if I go around a little sign? Well, it cost me. Next morning, I wake up. Tires. I had, like, three little mini holes. The tire was flat in the skag. Um, so I took it to the discount tire, and he's like, man, I, I found three holes. Tiny little holes. Nothing punctured through. Guarantee you, it was those little metal shards went and sliced that tire. So don't try to cut corners, especially when you're dealing with people. I would never do that with a human being. I did it with a little sign in a field. So when you're dealing with people, man, be extra careful. If you have to shut down the mower for a minute and you think, oh man, I'm, I'm not gonna get the yard done as quick. I guarantee you, I guarantee you that one minute of shutting off the mower is not going to cost more than your insurance deductible, um, the yards you're not going to get once your reputation goes down, and anything your insurance doesn't cover, the humiliation, the extra time, because you knock a kid out, you knock a, a person out. That's gonna be a lot of work. You're gonna go to court, you're gonna get sued. That's after the day. That day you're calling the ambulance, you're waiting for everything to settle down, figure out, you've gotta communicate with your client. You've, they're gonna sue you for sure. I mean, it, it's just, it's a mess. That 30 seconds to a minute that you shut off your equipment, trimmers, if you're trimming, exact same thing. Exact same thing. It might be even worse with trimmers. Like, cause you gotta think, I've got this much, it angles out a little bit, but this much that a, uh, I can pretty much tell you with mowing wise, but in edges, there's little rocks you don't see. There's stuff in there you don't see. So just be careful, man, I mean, it's not worth your life and your business because you're trying to rush and cut corners. So, um, you know, it's pretty cool that uh, I can thank these things during the day. I can come down here to my little basement, the place where a lot of my videos have started. People have started their own businesses because of videos like these, where I'm in my basement just talking to a camera. I've had people come up to me two years ago, a year ago, last week, this week, that I've changed their lives. Got a call today, two texts today. People, you know, spilling their heart out about how these videos have changed their lives. So, it's awesome, man. I think it's awesome. Business is doing well. Everything's going well. So, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. I really hope this helped and I hope it maybe opened up your eyes a little bit, saved you some headaches. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. We'll see you later.